they're still little enough that a package of cocoa is an absolute thrill to them, which I am totally taking advantage of. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I am doing a $20 stocking stuffer challenge. Today I am going to be sharing with you the things that I am putting in my twin three-year-old boy's stockings this year for Christmas. This video is a collab with a bunch of other moms here on YouTube. We got together and accepted the challenge of finding things for our kids and our spouses that uh, fit the $20 budget for stocking stuffers. And I'm focusing on the kids in this video but there are ladies in this collab who are also sharing what they're getting their husbands so definitely check out everyone's links they're gonna be in the description box of this video go subscribe to their channels tell them hi my friend Hannah and I actually started this collab and we welcomed other mommies to join us and I'm so glad that we did because I think you guys are going to get a lot of inspiration and some really good ideas and if you are new to my channel if this is your first time here then welcome my name is Natalie and I make lifestyle and mommy videos every Wednesday and Friday and I would love it if you would subscribe and turn your channel notifications on so you don't miss when I post a new video. Everything came to under $20 and that was actually a really easy budget to fit under because I found some really good deals and so can you. So if there's something that I can link like a, a product here that I'm going to show you, I will so that I will cut out the process of trying to find things for you. Some of these things I can't link because they were in the uh, Bullseye's Playground or the Dollar Spot at Target and they just don't sell those things online. Um, but let's actually talk about the things that I did get at Target because they had amazing selection of little things that were just a dollar that my boys are going to love. I got each of them this Snoopy Holiday Hugs coloring book, which I thought was super cute. My boys love to color and they go through their coloring books so fast. So uh, the dollar spot at Target is a really good place to stock up on really cute coloring books. My twins are not identical, but if I get them something different from each other most of the time, they'll fight over whichever one they think is best. So I tried to stick to things that seemed as uh, close to each other as possible so we wouldn't have a fight breaking out on Christmas morning because that's the last thing you want. These are the play packs, the grab and go ones. They have little crayons in them, stickers, a little coloring book. These are really fun to take in the car. Um, with us, we just grab a couple of these. They're called grab and go for a reason. So I got two for each boy. One a minion kind and the other is Paw Patrol. You will see Paw Patrol show up a couple times here because my boys are absolutely obsessed with this show. These are Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One of them is the Very Merry Misfits book and the other one is Rudolph Helps Out. My boys love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the little cartoon, so I think they'll really like these. I could not pass these up. These are Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer lip balms, which are so cute and I totally remember having these when I was a kid, I remember like the red cherry flavored lip balm and like Easter and Christmas, I would get lip balm from my mom and these totally remind me of that. So one of these for each boy. Here's some Paw Patrol again, little Paw Patrol fuzzy ankle socks. These were so cute and we go through socks like nobody's business. So a dollar a pair is not bad and Paw Patrol, need I say more? And if you get one pair of socks, why not get two? <laughs> and I went with these Mickey socks. One of them has Mickey's face, the other one has Mickey holding a little bag of presents. One is striped, one is green. These are super cute too. Also in the Bullseye's Playground, but they only had one in the store I was at, so I went online and ordered a second one because you know, they're gonna fight over this if there's only one. Um, Actually, they'll probably fight over one, even if there's two of them. I found a Rubik's Cube in the Bullseye's Playground. This was $3.99, and um, so definitely a little bit higher of a price point compared to everything else that I've gotten, but I actually think that this is the most expensive thing in their stockings. My brother Luke has a Rubik's Cube, and a couple of his friends have Rubik's Cubes, and my boys are obsessed with them whenever they see the big boys <laughs> playing with them. So I thought I'd spend the $3.99 and get them each one that they can have for their own. One more thing that I got at Target for the boys, I was in the baby food section because they love the squeeze packs of pureed baby food. They're three years old, but it's still a treat to them. Applesauce, I mean, 
we as adults like applesauce, right? So this is kind of along the same line. This is organic pears and mangoes and spinach with super chia. And I know that they like this flavor and this is like a really rare special treat for them. And rather than buy them individually, if you buy a four pack, they're much cheaper per little uh, squeeze pouch. And so this four pack, I believe, was just over $5, um, rounding these out to be about a buck sixty each, which is way more than I would pay for baby food, but it's a special treat for them and it's Christmas. That's everything from Target. I think I got a really good selection of stuff there, but I hadn't met my budget yet and there was still room in the stockings. So along the same lines of breaking up a box of something, I also dug in my own pantry this stuff I got at Costco actually so we have some Swiss Miss cocoa these rounded out to be about 30 cents each and the boys are obsessed they know what this is and they'll be thrilled to see this in their stocking they're still little enough that a package of cocoa is an absolute thrill to them which I am totally taking advantage of and very similarly I have a package of microwave popcorn for them these rounded out to be about 24 cents each a couple of things that I got from Amazon now we do Amazon Prime we have a subscribe and save we've done Amazon Prime pantry and I have been holding on to these Tom's children's uh, fluoride free toothpaste the boys love this toothpaste and again three-year-olds, it's going to thrill them to go through their stocking and see that they have new tubes of toothpaste for themselves. And these were $2.99 each. You know I had to put something practical in their stockings. So this is something fun that I have seen my own mom do over the years. She will put a gift under the tree and then mimic that gift with something in our stocking. So if she gives my dad a drill, she'll put drill bits into the stocking. If she gives me a set of like earrings and a necklace, the bracelet will be in my stocking. And I think that's a really fun thing to do because for our family, we open the gifts under the tree first and the stockings are the last thing to be opened. But even if you do it the opposite, if you find something in your stocking that later on you get kind of the whole shebang of under the tree, I hope I'm making sense, um, it can be really fun because it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt. And so I'm doing that this year for my boys stockings um, first of all with these little play-dohs set of play-doh that has 20 different little pots in it and i very sneakily sneakily is that a word and my boys don't know enough to when they open that box of play-doh realize that two are missing but when they go to open up their stocking they're gonna find the other two that weren't included and feel like it's an extra little bonus i got this adorable set of play food for them for Christmas. It even came with its own little plastic carrying case, which I love. I got it on a Black Friday deal. It was like a 40 piece set for like 20 bucks. And I pulled out a hamburger, they're in plastic right now, um, a hamburger and a little birthday cake. So they'll be like, hey, I got a big set of play food and look at that, a hamburger to boot. So I'm at about 12 bucks here, around there. And I have a lot more room in my budget but honestly, these stockings can't hold much more. So to top it off, I'm going to put something in their stockings that I put in there last year, literally the same exact thing. But this is a little tradition that I am going to continue to do, hopefully. These little Star Wars Hallmark, I think they're called Itty Bitties. Um, they are so cute. And I just packed them away with our Christmas decor. I packed them with the stockings that we have and they are adorable when the stockings are all hanging up you just poke these in the top and they like peek out so i have this little c3po and chewbacca and r2d2 with reindeer antlers oh my gosh how cute is that and of course you can't forget yoda he's holding a candy cane and he has a santa claus hat i want to find a fifth little star wars itty bitty hallmark itty bitty um because we have five stockings now that we have a baby, a new baby this year for Christmas. I'm not really adding this to the price of the stocking um, because I already have it, but I thought I would share this anyway. So if you want to check these out for yourself, I don't know if these specific ones are discontinued. I know you can get these on eBay. They're around eight to $12 each, depending on which one you have. And you would still be very close to that $20 limit if this is something that your family would like. Um, we love Star Wars. 
in our family. I grew up watching Star Wars and there's a new Star Wars movie coming out this year and so we're kind of thinking in that way and again these are adorable just peeking out of the top of a stocking. So these are kind of like the last finishing touch. Wait, I lied. There's actually one more thing that's going to go in each of these stockings and it's actually going to be the first thing in the toe of the stocking every year I put a fresh Satsuma orange. I'm not going to put it in there right now because we have a few weeks left until Christmas and I kind of don't want it to go moldy or rotten, um, but that is the first thing that's going to go. It goes in the toe of the stocking and that's just a little tradition that I don't know where that started. I'm sure it's a really old tradition, but we did it in my family growing up. Weston did it in his family growing up, and so we do it with our kids too. Well, that is everything for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and definitely go check out all of the other moms here on YouTube who are participating in this collab. If you enjoyed today's video, if you found it helpful or informative, then definitely let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much, and let me know in the comments the thing that you are most excited to put into your kids or your sweetheart stocking. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Merry Christmas and I'll catch you later.